Hello everyone, welcome back to OD Place. Today I will continue the playthrough for Terraforming Mars with the Corporate Era and Car Drafting uh, variants. And we're about to start a second generation as Fobolog, that's our corporation. And hopefully we'll, we will actually get to complete some projects in this uh, generation. So let's jump right in. To kick things off, Helium will start by completing the Geothermal Power Project. Basically, they will use the heat from the core through the crack in the crust to produce more energy, and therefore they'll get two more energy production. And they've decided one action is good enough for them for now, and they will pass to the next company. And now the mining guild has successfully found more sponsors to fund their research and projects and things like that. So they will increase their mega credit production by two steps at the cost of just six credits. And they've decided that's it for now, they're gonna skip over to Saturn Systems. Saturn Systems will uh, start the second gener uh, generation off by building a Festa shipyard. And it will, it's gonna cost them 15 credits, but it is a Jovian tag, so it will activate their special ability to increase the uh, mega credit production by one. And it will also increase their steel production, sorry, uh, titanium production by one, and also give them one victory point. Again, their special ability is that any time there's a Jovian tag, they will increase their mega production by one there. And they have decided that's it for now. They're gonna skip for now and move to us, Phobolog. And finally, it's back to us, the Phobolog. So let's look at our handle project cards right now. And the mining area, we cannot play right now. So let's set that aside because we don't own any tiles on the surface of Mars yet. And we can only place this tile adjacent to a tile we already own. So this doesn't qualify. This is too expensive right now and we're waiting on the planes tag to appear. So let's set that aside. We don't satisfy the, uh, the temperature requirement yet. So let's set that, set that aside as well. This we can play, but we can probably save the resource for later because it's just a one victory point. And it doesn't matter if we play early or late. Uh, we pro it's better uh, for us to save the 6 credits to play something else, uh, probably. So let's set all these cards aside because I don't think we're gonna play them this generation or in the nearby uh, generations. Protective Valley right now it costs us 23 credits. We only have 22 and we don't have any steals to offset that. So we cannot play this uh, generation either. We can do Dust Seal and also Water Impro from Europa. This is a space project, so we can use our titanium. And remember, our titanium is worth 4 credits, as opposed to the regular 3 credits. Uh, but let's start off with the dust seal first, because we have to build this before there are more than 3 water tiles on the surface of the Mars. And then we'll do that one action for now, and then we'll see what the other people are doing uh, by passing for now after doing one action, and adjust our strategies accordingly. accordingly. Uh, I think that's a good strategy right here. So we'll place, we'll pay the two credits, which we have conveniently right there, and we'll have completed dust seal, the da project, and we'll just gain one victory point on the end of the game. I think that's pretty good uh, use of two credits, uh, in my opinion. And then with one action, we can do one more, but we're gonna pass for now and see what other corporations have decided to do for this generation. And now going back to Helium Company's turn, and they have decided to actually pass for this generation, so they're completely out of the generation for now. No more actions for them. And the Mining Guild will now release some inner gases to increase the terraforming rating by two steps, by spending 14 credits. So the nitrogen and other inner gases are used to increase the am uh, atmospheric pressure, and then but then they had to stay away from helium for some reason. But anyways, I digress. So this is an event, so I'm just gonna place underneath the company's car. So 14 credits. And they're the first one to increase their terraforming rating beyond 20. So finally somebody's doing something on Mars. And they have one more action they can do if they choose to, but for now the mining guild have decided to pass as well. And now back to Saturn Systems, they have also decided to pass for this generation, and they are like Helium, they are out of the generation now. And back to the Phobolog. So the only project we can complete this generation now is really water import from Europa. And it is a space project, so we do have enough credits. We have 20 credits, and we can probably spend 4 credits uh, from the Titanium. 
So actually, no, we need to spend two titanians to compensate for eight credits. And then the remaining 17 will come from our actual credits here. And then we can pay 12 credits to put one, uh, one ocean tile onto the surface of Mars. And the 12 credits can be used from the titaniums as well. So I think that's pretty uh, good that we can do that early on because as soon as, place, as we place the uh, uh, ocean tile on Mars, we can increase our terraforming rating, which will increase our credit production, uh, which may be useful in, in the future generations. Uh, the only downside is it is a Jovian tag, which actually gives us gives us one victory point at the end of the game for each Jovian tag that we have, but will also indirectly help uh, Saturn systems because every time anybody plays a card with this tag, it will increase their credit uh, mega credit production by one step. Um, but right now, I mean, I can't just not play this because I'm afraid to help the other company, I think. So it's, I think it's quite all right for us to do it right away so that we can use the benefits of placing the ocean tiles right away. And so that's what we're gonna do, I think. We're gonna play the water import from Europa and we will use two of our titanium. They will act as uh, eight credits because each titanium is worth four credits for us. So now all we have left is 17 credits, so let's do that. And we have one more action that we can do if you want to. And seeing how two of the corporations have already passed, we might as well uh, continue with the actions that we can do. So we're going to go ahead and use the water import from Europa right away. Spending three titaniums, because each is worth four credits, so that's 12 credits. Just enough to use uh, the action here to place a water the ocean tile onto the surface of Mars. So the ocean tiles can go on any of the blue color spaces here. These are reserved for the ocean tiles. And depending, depending on which area we place them, we will get different placement bonus. I think this area looks really nice for us because the placement bonus for this area is two titanium, which we have increased value for, for, for our uh, corporation. All the other ones will give you just plants and also more research project cards. But I think the two extra titanium will help in future when we want to complete, uh, complete more space cards because we do have the advantage of each titanium was four credits as opposed to just the regular three. And because we have helped in the endeavor to terraform Mars, our company reputation or terraforming rating has increased by one to 21. And also the two titaniums for the placement bonus. And with that, uh, those are the two actions that we can take. And we now go on to the Mining Guild because Helium has already passed for this generation. And the Mining Guild simply decides to pass as well. And with that, we're the officially the only corporation left in this, this generation who hasn't passed yet. But seeing how we have only three credits left, and we don't really have any space project we want to complete just yet, because remember, we're saving up for the plane tax to appear. I think the good, uh, the smart thing to do right now is also to pass and then get some resources produced so that we can work on the future projects. So we will also pass, and with that, the generation is over, we move on to production. Starting with Helium, with a terraforming rating of 20 and no production, they just get 20 credits, and they also get 2 energy and also 7 more heat resource, which brings them up to 14. And for Mining Guild, with, with a terraforming rating of 22 plus 3 of the production, they actually get 25 credits. They will also get 2 more steals. And that's it for now. And Saturn Systems, with terraforming rating of 20 plus a production of 3, gets them 23 credits. They also get 2 titaniums, and the energy will convert into heat at the end of the round, and they will get 1 new energy resource. And for us Phobolog, we're at terraforming rating of 21 with no production, so we just get exactly 21 uh, credits. And no other productions to speak of, and we refresh our actions so that we can use it again in the next generation. And now on to generation 3, and the first player marker will now move from Helion to Mining Guild. So now it's a research phase, and we're each dealt with four cards, four new project cards again. And because it's generation three, it's an odd number generation. This time, the cards will choose one to keep into our hand and pass the other three counterclockwise. To so right now, we'll pass this to Saturn Systems instead, and we'll receive three new cards from Helion. So let's take a look at the cards we have. First, we have nuclear power, 
it, uh, it will reduce our mega credit production by two, but increase our energy production by three. Looking at our situation right now, I'm not sure what we're gonna use the energy production for. We'll keep that in mind though. Greenhouses, we got one plant per city in play. Uh, there's no city in play right now, but the good thing is it's only six credits and it, it has a plant tag. So remember we have that giant asteroid event right here, nitrogen rich asteroid, which if we have three plant tags, we can get increase our plant production by four instead of just one if we don't have the three plant tags. So if we have this, that's a very uh, inexpensive uh, plant tag. And in our projects, we already have protective valley and grass, which we cannot play until it's minus 16 degrees, but we'll, we'll probably get there eventually. So I think the greenhouse houses is probably something we can consider right now. Let's see, we have Soleta. It, it, it increase our uh, heat production by a whopping seven steps, but it's pretty expensive, $35. Let's see, we have seven, and each seven titanium, each is worth four credits, so that's about 28. Oh, so it's actually not bad. Increase our steps by seven. Hmm. We can only pick one though. Let's look at the other ones first. So we also have uh, heat trappers. You can actually decrease the heat production of any player, any one corporation, not just yourself, to increase your energy by one. And really, if you look at it, it gives you minus one victory points because it's a very inefficient use of energy, I suppose. You're reducing two heat production to just gain one energy production. And even though you're, you're not the one suffering from the reduced heat production, overall, I guess that's, that's just uh, bad for the environment in, on Mars. And therefore, you get minus one victory point for it. Uh, oh, that's about it, I guess. So I think we're not interested in heat trappers or nuclear power. But greenhouse is pretty good because it has a green uh, plane tag. This one is pretty good because we, we can actually make this happen and gives us seven energy, uh, sorry, uh, seven heat production. But right now what we really want to do is increase our titanium production, which we don't have any right now. Uh, once we used up all our titaniums, that would be it. So we have seven, seven times four is 28. So essentially we just need to pay eight credits to play this. Not by be that might be worth it, but this is a such a cheap six credits for a green uh a plane tag, hmm, and also you probably we probably don't want this to get into helium's hand, but then we're passing this cl uh, counterclockwise to our right to Saturn system, who will look at these cards and maybe they think helium will benefit from this card and therefore they will deny that uh, to helium and take it away from them so we don't have to be the one to be the uh, the main one to take this away from helium it could be either saturn systems or even the mining guild but even then aside from trying to prevent helium from getting even more powerful because remember the heat resource can be used as mega credits um you know, we can also benefit from the extra heat productions ourselves by raising the temperature on Mars and getting even more uh, terraforming ratings. I think what I'm gonna do though, because that's really a lot of money for, for, for now and we don't have that much money, we are probably gonna just stick with the greenhouses because of that uh, it's cheap, or I, I should say it's inexpensive and also has the, uh, the plane tax over there. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna keep the greenhouses and pass the other three cards to our right, to Saturn systems. And remember, we don't actually own these yet. We have to pay the three credits to do the project. But on the top right hand corner, I think th this is a good poll question to ask. Which one would you have chosen to keep into our hand instead? Would you have chosen the greenhouses like I did? Or would you have chosen the Soleta? Or maybe you wanted the nuclear power or the heat chapters instead. So just click on the little eye on the top right hand corner and cast your foe and we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm going to keep the greenhouses and pass the other uh, three projects to, your right, to our right to Saturn systems. So now let's see what cards healing has passed on to us. So we have bushes. It requires a minus 10 degree or warmer to play and it will increase our plants production by two steps and give us two plants immediately. It also has a plant tag, so we're not short of that now anymore. And another plant tag here, and that's Nitroflick Moss. 
We, it does require three ocean tiles on the map to be played, though. And instead, it will actually get rid of two planes from us, but we can increase our plane production by two steps. So not bad. And also, we have water import from the Europa, which means every generation we can place at least one ocean tile down onto the surface of Mars. So it can actually work quite well, because by the... Th the in another two generations, we'll be able to put out two more ocean tiles and therefore satisfy the requirement to play this card. So we can consider this probably. And now we have an observatory. It does get one extra victory point. It's a space project, so that's good for us. It's only nine credits and it draws a card. So this is actually not too bad for, for that one credit. But I think the nitrophilic moss is pretty good too because of the plane production, and also it's a plane tag that we can use for our nitrogen-rich asteroid. Hmm, so I think I'm gonna go with the nitrophilic moss for this one, and I don't think anybody else will benefit from these two, or maybe satellite systems will, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so I think the choice here will be nitrophilic moss, because minus 10 degrees is still a long way to go. And this one, it just gives us one victory point too. So that's actually pretty good too, huh? Let's see. Well, let's do another poll then. Uh, I think I'm going to choose the nitrophilic moss for this one. But what would you have chosen? Would you have chosen the bushes and wait for the minus 10 degrees? In that case, you don't lose two planes. Instead, you gain two planes and also increase the plane production by two. Or... Uh, you can do the observatory because it is a space project and we have plenty of titanium. Get one victory point and also draw a project card. That's a pretty good choice too. So which three of these would you have chosen to keep so that you can buy the patents for? Click on the top right corner where the eye icon is and cast your vote there and want to know what you guys think. So before now, we're going to choose with the nitrophilic moss and pass the other two to Saturn systems. And now let's see what goodies the Hedians have passed on to us. And we have an event called Special Design. It will allow us to play our next car in this generation. And uh, if it, it has a requirement there, it can get plus two or minus two. So for example, if the car, for example, the dust seal, that requires uh, to do it before we have more than three ocean tiles. And with the special design, we can actually do it before they have, uh, for example, five ocean tiles on the surface of Mars. So this will modify that criteria. So the same can be done with uh, temperature and also oxygen levels. Oh, okay. Micro mills just increase our plant, uh, energy, sorry, uh, heat production by one step. I'm a little surprised that came from helium because they are really specialized in heat production. I guess they figured they have enough heat production. They don't need this little card here anymore. So whichever we don't choose will end up being to the next player's, uh, to Sata Systems' hand. So I think I'm going to choose micro mills. It seems a little bit more useful to us. Or Oh, actually, let me think about this. Because I think we're just saying how... Oh, we can, actually, we can actually just special design and put on nitrophilic moss right away. So that's actually not bad. So you know what? I think we're going to keep uh, special design and pass micro mills to Saturn systems instead. So I think the special design will definitely help us in the long run. And we will also receive one more project card from Helium, and it's Earth Office. So every time we play a card that has this tag on them, the Earth tag, we get a three dollar, uh, three credit discount. Not particularly useful in our case. After the card drafting part is done, the research phase will now proceed, where each corporation will decide how many of these projects they want to buy the patents for. So for Mining Guild, of the four project cards they have, they're going to buy three of them and discard the, the fourth one. And with that, they need to spend 9 credits to buy the patents. And for Saturn systems, they're going to buy 2 of them and discard the other 2 projects. And that will cost them 6 credits. So now it's our turn. And in retrospect, when I uh, completed the water import from Europa project, I should have used all my titanium instead of using my credits. Because now we only have 24 credits. And after we buy these new projects, we don't have much left to do the actual projects, unless they're a space project, which none of them are. So I should have used more titanium instead of trying to save them and use, use my uh, credits instead. But I, I've already done that. There's nothing I can do about it. So let's just move on, I guess. And like I said, the special design and natural Philip moss will go pretty well together. And 
also the greenhouses is a very cheap plant tag there. But then if I look at it, we already have one plant tag here, a nitrophilic moss, and also grass. Maybe we don't need a greenhouse. I don't know. Hmm. So, I mean, this has to wait till minus 16. So maybe we do need a greenhouse after all. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get the greenhouse. So I think we'll get the greenhouse, the nitrophilic moss, and also special D. Hmm. I can probably wait two generations to do the greenhouses. Uh, sorry, to do the nitrophilic moss. You know what? I I'm just going to buy all these three. And then obviously the Earth's office it has no use for us. Uh, hopefully this will be the correct decision for us. So we'll buy three projects and that will cost us nine credits. We'll discard this other one. So nine credits. And, and hopefully that was the correct decision. But you will never know until we find out much later. And lastly, Helium will also buy just two of the projects and discard the other two. And with that, they will need to spend six credits. Alright, so that's it for the research phase, and now we move on to the actions. To kick things off, the mining guild will have found some mineral deposits on Mars, and they have gained 5 steals by paying 5 credits. And they have decided that's all they are going to do for now, and they will move on to Saturn systems. And before we go with the action for the Saturn systems, I just want to say that I think when we play the water import from Europa, uh, that's our action card, it actually has a Jovian tag here, and therefore it will trigger Saturn system's ability to increase the mega credit pro production by one. I think I forgot to do that, and therefore they should have got one more credit during the production phase, so let's just change, uh, correct that right now. Alright, so for the actual action, they're going to build an observatory. And it will allow them to draw an extra project card and give them one point at the end of the game. And because it's a space project, they can use this uh, titanium to pay for the cost. Since it costs nine, we can use three of th uh, they can use three of them to compensate for the entire nine credits. And they also draw one uh, project card and add it to their hand. And they've decided that that's all they're gonna do for now. So back to us. And because of our or because of my poor planning, we cannot play Protective Valley again because it costs 23 and we only have 15. So we really should save up money for, so that we can actually play this project in the next uh, generation. Right now though, I think um, we're gonna place an ocean tile onto the Mars by using our water import from Europa. And with that, we're gonna place it somewhere with a placement bonus of two plants so that later we can play Nitrophilic Moss. That will require two, we lose two plants, but increase our plant production by two steps. So I think that's a plan for now. And all the other cards we cannot play right now because they're either too expensive or we want to, we have like a criteria that we cannot satisfy just yet. Uh, anyway, so let's do that. And because we can use titanium uh, to substitute for the 12 credits, and we're going to use three titaniums, which are worth four credits each and to get, place a water onto the surface, uh, surface of, ma uh, of the uh, Mars. And like I said, we're going to place it uh, somewhere that will give us two plants as a placement bonus. So I'm, I'm going to add those two plants right now onto our resources. And we'll place a cube here to indicate that we can no longer use this action any anymore in this particular generation. And so we'll now place the second water tile onto, let's say, this area. So we get the two plants as a placement bonus, just like I showed you. And because we have improved the condition on Mars, our corporation gained another terraforming rating. And that's only one of the two actions, but I think for now, we're going to see what the other players are doing. So we're going to pass for now and go to Helion. Helion has decided to undergo a very big project. They are building a strip mine. It will cost them 25 credits and reduce the energy production by two steps. But in, in, uh, in return, they will get two steel production and one titanium production. And also raise the oxygen level in the atmosphere on Mars by two steps. Currently though, they have a problem because they only have 23 credits. So what they are going to do is use their special ability, which is convert, uh, using heat as credits. So they spend two heat 
and 23 credits that's, that's a total of 25 credits for them to uh fund the project strip uh strip mine they are going to reduce the energy by two increase steel by two and also titanium by one so mars is a little bit more breathable again and they increase their terraforming rating by two so we're all tied up at 22, except for uh, Saturn systems. And they have one more action they can decide to take, but for now they say they, can, they are going to pass. Back to the mining guild, they have decided to host a technology demonstration session by spending five credits, and then they will learn two new project cards. And that's only one of the two actions, and they have decided that that's it for now. And they'll get these two project cards and add it to their hands. And now Saturn Systems has decided to do some asteroid mining. So they're going to sp uh, spend 30 credits to, build, uh, to complete this project. It will give them two victory points at the end of the game and increase the uh, titanium resource production by two. That's really good. I wish we have that for our company because it will be so good for us. And more importantly, it is a Jovian tag on the project card right here. So they actually increase the mega credit production by one as well because of the special ability right here. And that's only one of the two actions and they have decided to pass for now. And now it's back to us Fobo log again. And we or originally wanted to use special design for where was it? Nitrophilic Moss? Because we're actually one ocean tile short on Mars. But if we use this, then we can play this card right now. But now that I think about it, next generation, we can place down another ocean tile and we can definitely place down uh, this project, uh, next generation. So is, it, is there any reason to spend four credits to rush that project right now or no? And also we have another card here, Grass that actually requires a minus 16 degree temperature and we're actually mi uh, minus 30 right now. So it may be better to use special design on grass later. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking right now. And we really had to save all these uh, credits for our protective valley because it's been in our hand for so long and we haven't been able to do anything with it. So I think even though it sounds crazy again, maybe it will be best for us to pass so that we get more credits in the next generation and do be able to buy more projects and also do more uh do protect protective valley and all the other stuff i think that's what we're gonna do right okay yep so for now we're going to pass for this generation and that's the end of our entire generation we can no longer do any more actions anymore surprisingly healing has also decided to pass uh, but I guess they could have raised the temperature, but they decided not to, and they have no more credits. And what they want to do really is up to them. But they have decided to pass, and that's that. And the mining guild will use a uh, nuclear power project. And it is a building project, so they can pay with their steels, to uh, five steels to compensate for the 10 credits here. It will reduce their uh, credit production by two, but increase the energy production by three. I suppose they found the sponsors just to help them build the nuclear power. That's kind of interesting. And that's it for now, they're going to pass. And unsurprisingly, Saturn Systems has also decided to pass. They only have four credits and not, not much of any other resource anyway, so there's really not much they can do at this time. And with that, the Mining Guild is the only corporation left in this generation. They can do as many actions as, it, as they want until they decide to pass. And they are going to start carbonate processing. So they are converting some common minerals into uh, carbon dioxide and therefore increase the greenhouse effect. Therefore, they will use the energy to do that and produce more heat. And they will spend three steels to, because it is, it is a bu uh, building project, they can use three steels to offset the six credits cost. And with that, that's it. They're also going to pass. And now the generation is over. We move on to production phase, starting with well, mining guild. The terraforming rating is 22 plus a production of one, so they get 23 credits. And they get two steel. And also two energy and three heat. 
And for Saturn systems, their terraforming rating is at 20 right now, but they have a production of 5, so they get 25 credits. And they also get 4 titanium, that's a very good for production. And 1 energy, but the energy here first will be converted into heat. And therefore, and there we add one more energy. And now for us, Phobolog, our terraforming rating is at 22, and that's all the credits we're going to get. And in fact, that's all the resources we're going to get because we have no production whatsoever. And we'll refresh our action so that we can do it again next time. And last but not least, Helium has a terraforming rating of 22, and with no production, that's all they're gonna get for their credits. They also have two steels and one titanium. The energies become heat at the end of the generation and it produces seven more heat. So seven plus 14, that's 21. And now we move to generation four and the first player marker will now pass from mining guild into Saturn systems. For the research phase, we're dealt with these four new project cards here. So we have Cupola City. I don't know how to pronounce it actually. We had to build it before the oxygen goes beyond uh, 9%. And we had to reduce our energy production by 1, but it will increase our mega credit production by 3. And we get to place a city tile. For a city tile, it's actually relatively cheap because in a standard project, when you build a city, it actually costs you 25 credits. But let's see what the other ones have. And we have imported hydrogen. It's a space and earth event. We can get three plants or three micros or two animals and place a water uh, ocean tile onto the surface surface of the map um, we already have water input from europa so that can allow us to place water uh, ocean tile onto the uh, onto mars and we can use the plants i guess but for 16 credits and we also want to build the protective valley so that's a little bit too expensive for us biomass combust combustor it will require six percent oxygen reduce any, anybody's uh, plant production by one and increase our energy production by two, but it will cost us one victory point at the end. I don't see this have any value for us, so we'll prob probably pass on that. And lastly, solar power. Increase energy production by one and get one um, victory point at the end. In a standard project, the power plant will increase our energy production by one for exactly 11 credits as well. But I guess when you buy the patents, you need to spend three extra credits, but that gets you one extra uh, victory points. So of all the four projects, I don't think any of them is really ideal for, for us here uh, because we're still struggling putting out the plant tags and trying to get increased titanium production right now. So right now, we're not thinking about what cards we should get, but what cards we want to prevent our other corporations uh, from getting. Um, I don't really like any of these cards. I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I'm just going to keep the solar power because of that one extra victory point that we may be able to obtain. And remember, uh, this is the even number generation, generation 4. That's an even number. So we pass the cards clockwise next to Helion and we'll receive cards from Saturn system. And now let's see what new projects we have received from Saturn systems. And we have first of all food factory. It will decrease our plant production by one but increase our mega production by four I guess because we are growing crops to sell them and make more money. It will also give us one extra uh, victory point at the end of the game. And we have insects. It requires oxygen level of 6%. We're at 2% right now. And for each plant tag we have, we can increase our uh, plant production by one, which might not be too bad because we're actually collecting a lot of projects with, with uh, plant tags on them. So if we do that and then it's raised to 6%, then we can play this card, insects, and that will increase our plant production by even more. So we can consider that for sure. Farming requires a plus 4 uh, percent, uh, sorry, plus 4 degrees Celsius on Mars. So I guess when it's too cold, you can't really farm on Mars. Increase our mega credit production by 2, and plant production by 2, and also get 2 points, and also 2 victory points. It's not bad, but again, this is more a late game card than early game card, so I think we're going to pass on that for now. Uh, Food Factory is pretty good in that it gives you one extra point, and also some uh, credits. 
But I think insects is the one that we want to get because we are collecting a lot of plane tags right now so that we later when we play this card, we can have a lot of uh, plane production. And even if the oxygen level is, is at the maximum, each greenery tile we place down on the map can actually is actually worth one victory point at the end of the game. So there's definitely some benefits to pr uh, producing more plants. Uh, so I think we're going to choose the insects and add it to our hand right now and pass on these two to Helion. I don't think none of these will benefit them. So yeah, let's do that. And we we got two more cards from Saturn Systems. The first one is Advanced Ecosystem. It requires a plant tag, micro, and animal tag in play for us to actually uh, complete this project. It just gives us, uh, gives us three victory points. And that's about it, I think. And now we have Caretaker Contract. So we can spend 8 heat resource to increase the terraforming rating by 1. Now, it's actually not, none of them are actually beneficial for us because we don't have any micro or animal tag. We probably have to take this one though because if this goes on to Helium, which is what's going to happen if we don't pick this, then they have, have a lot of heat production. They can use this at the end of the game to increase their victory points even further. So I think we it's better to take this than take this because I don't think we can fulfill that requirement right there. Uh, at, at least it's really hard to tell. So that's going to be a gamble. So we'll take this and deny Helion of getting this card so that it will reduce the likelihood of winning the game. And that sounds like a good plan to me. So we'll take that and this will go to Helion directly. And lastly, we receive Tardigrades. I don't know how to pronounce that. So it's actually a micro tag. So we can add my one micro to this card per generation. And for every four micro, we get one victory point. Okay, uh, interesting. After the drafting was over, uh, Saturn System had decided to buy two of the patents and discard the other two. And it's gonna cost them six credits to do that. And looking at our hand of project cards here, we will not benefit much from this. We only took it to deny healing from getting it. So we're not gonna buy this. Insects are pretty good. And the microbes here gives us victory points for every four microbes, but it has no restriction on when we can actually play this project. So if we play as early as we can, we can start collecting microbes. So every four generation basically will get one victory point. But there's also other project cards that will steal micros away from you, and all your hard work will be will be basically for nothing. So that's gonna be a risk for doing this project right here. Uh, insects, like I said, we're collecting a lot of plant uh, projects, so it can be pretty good for us uh, later in the later uh, later part of the game. Uh, solar power, if not for the energy production, we can get one victory point. So that's something we can consider as well. Let's see here. What do we have anything that require energy production? Hmm. Nah, not at this time right now. So I think we're going to pass on solar power for now, even though it has one energy. I uh, sorry, one victory point. And uh, because we want to save our credits for a lot of expensive projects that we already have in our hand, and we'll just get insects uh, for this research phase. So we'll discard the other three, and pay three credits for the insects. Healing has decided to buy two of the uh, projects and discard the other two. And for that, they'll need to pay six credits. And lastly, the Mining Guild will also buy two of the patents and discard the other two. And that will be six credits again. So after three generations of projects, it seems like Mars has not improved much at all. We only managed to put two ocean tiles down, thanks to us. No problem. And also two oxygen level increase thanks to helium. And they actually have more heat resource to raise the temperature too, but for some reason they have decided not to do it. Uh, but I'm going to take a little break right now and just to rest up and com come back uh, recording a little bit later. And hopefully you will join me in my next video as well as we find out who is going to be the most successful corporation in terraforming Mars so that we humans can come and live here. But until the next time, I will see you, uh, I will see you then. Bye bye.